The solid rubber tire is designed for off-road conditions, as in construction sites, landfills, and warehouses. These areas are full of hazards that would flatten ordinary airfield tires. But solid tires don't go flat. They just keep on turning. And that's a good thing on any job site. No air in these tires means they're ideal for heavy work. They can move a lot of weight around without buckling. They start with a wide flat strip of partially processed rubber. A hot extruder forces it through a series of holes. This transforms the rubber strip into a narrower, rounder form. The rubber falls between hot cylinders. They roll it thin and soft like pie crust. In another part of the factory, they prep metal framework for the tires. A worker moves them along an overhead rail into a special chamber. He shovels in steel pellets. Inside the chamber, a machine tosses the pellets about and the friction polishes the metal tire frames. They spray on a coat of primer and apply an adhesive. Next, they mount one on a mechanical arm that's positioned in front of the rubber rolling system. The arm moves the tire frame forward to meet the turning cylinders. The surface, still tacky from the glue, takes up the freshly rolled rubber. It layers the rubber around the tire base up to 100 times, depending on the tire being made. Then they weigh it and slice off bits of rubber until it meets specifications. This solid tire is now in good shape, so it moves on to the next stage. Over at another station, they're building another type of solid tire with no metal framework, so it will fit on a wheel rim made for an airfield tire. They wind rubber strips around a metal hub that serves as a mold. A bar presses down on the rubber wrap to eliminate air pockets. These rubber strips contain recycled material, which is stiffer. This will help the tire hold its shape in the absence of a metal framework. These tires need some tread. They begin by spraying a release agent onto a mold so it will be easier to remove the tire later. Then they lightly glue the ID label and serial number plate to position them for transfer to the tire. They center the tire in the mold with a metal ring. Then they lower the top section of the mold onto it. They now hoist the mold to another station where they sandwich it between two steaming hot plates. The hot hydraulic pressure melts the rubber into the crevices of the mold. The rubber cures in minutes and they open the mold to reveal a treaded tire. The process has also vulcanized the rubber, a molecular change that strengthens it. It takes a specialist to change one of these tires. He travels to the work site and, using a hydraulic system, he removes the old tire from the wheel rim and installs a new one. And that's how you put a solid tire on a wheel rim made for an air-filled one. Big tires with metal framework go into this autoclave to take shape and undergo vulcanization. A forklift, equipped with solid tires of course, extracts the finished tires from the autoclave. And now, they're ready to roll.